Ramcat training is scenario based, employing armored assailants in the scenarios. This is the only way to allow true full contact in a dynamic situation. This goes far beyond simple force on force training, but the key objective is to develop adrenal stress conditioning. How a person is able to deal with the adrenal rush of an actual assault is more critical than a knowledge of technique. The fact is that the adrenal flow overcomes most people, even decent martial arts people. So in RAMCAT training, we have seen very good martial arts people in their first few scenarios flail ineffectually. But once they get used to the adrenal stress, they perform much better and have access to the skills they have trained on. But it is also clear that for most people, gross motor skills like this are most effective in a real fight because it's all they can really manage to perform under adrenal stress. Our firearms training, stress shooting, is based on the same adrenal stress driven scenario based model. The more realistic the training methodology becomes to the actual event being trained for, the more the individual can experience and thus discover the real problems either in using their bare hands or a firearm in their self-defense. In either case, it is learning to control and then utilize the adrenal dump that is a central problem in any true self-defense situation. In some of these scenarios, we use real weapons firing soft, low-velocity rubber bullets. We fire at the attendants with only blanks. Your instructors know exactly when and where they were hit and respond accordingly in the scenarios. Scenario-based training allows you to experience and thus discover some of the real problems in using a firearm in your self-defense. For example, would you have imagined that a person from more than 20 feet away could draw a knife, charge you, and stab you to death before you were able to draw your pistol and stop him with your bullets. It's true. Turning one's back like this on an attack is a natural response, but it can be overcome. After less than 10 minutes of instruction, she can now survive a scenario that otherwise she would not. This man was stabbed in his first attempt at this scenario too, as most are. But again, he learns to step off the attack line, a simple technique that could save his life in the real world. In the stress shooting course, you will be run through a number of such scenarios. Most are based on actual homicide incidents too. In this way, you experience the problem, then eliminate it with the solution that allows you to survive that type of attack. Since you practice this under adrenal stress, this is what you will do in the real thing as well. Because the adrenal stress reaction is all you can really count on occurring in any real crisis or actual assault. You never really know what the scenario will involve. Here the man is asking for directions when a mad gunman attacks him from behind. you will become familiar with the operation of several weapons types here. The philosophy being that you should be able to use effectively almost any firearm on the planet and this doesn't really take long. But this is a practical training course for adults and not would-be Rambos. You will find that your classmates are fine people and they will give you their full support as you will give them your full support throughout the training. You'll also have a very good time and it truly is an adventure in self-discovery. Ramcat and stress shooting are total immersion concepts in training. We pick you up at the Colorado Springs Airport and take you to the Ramcat Mountain Training Complex. My home is located on the 40-acre property as well. This is the Quonset Hut that serves as a training hall and is 2,400 square feet. The bathroom complex the dormitories, 
All your meals and lodging are provided right here in the single training fee. The Ramcat Training Complex is truly a location of dramatic natural beauty. The Ramcat Armored Assailant Course and the Stress Shooting Course are now offered back to back. You arrive at the Colorado Springs Airport on a Friday afternoon on or before 3 p.m. We pick you up at the airport and drive you to the training complex and bring you back for a flight leaving no earlier than 6.30 p.m. on Tuesday. All your meals and lodging and training for both courses is included for the single fee of $995. The unique training program we provide at Rocky Mountain Combat Applications Training has attracted people from all over the world and some outstanding martial arts people as well. But no martial arts or self-defense training is required to take this course because we are not teaching any martial arts system at all but real-world self-defense for today's world. This includes knowing the ways of human predators, how they choose their victims, and thus how not to be one. And about half the people taking these courses have no previous training at all. A very important aspect of the training is your learning how to de-escalate hostile and potential assaultive people through scenario-based training. Indeed, what you learn here will apply to most every aspect of your life that includes people. In 2002, and again in 2010, Black Belt Magazine called Ramcat Training the best short-term self-defense course existent. Needless to say, I was very gratified to hear that. I'm 65 now and martial arts has done a great deal for my life physically and mentally. I started studying at the age of 11 as I recall. But self-defense training is a subset of self-improvement. The more truly authentic the training is, the more sharply it is true that it is a form of self-improvement that transcends even self-defense. My bouncer cooler days in the 70s showed me that martial arts training provides more physical tools than you may actually need, but still there is a missing link in its application to real-world self-defense for most people who study it. Martial arts training is somewhat formalized, but a street fight or bar fight is not. As a bouncer, after the earth cooled and the dinosaurs came, I saw him was forced to participate in scores of real attacks. Real fights and attacks are nothing like the movies, TV, or anything like a prize ring. Real fights are brutal and sloppy and short, and they look like this. This is the reality of fighting that we are preparing you for at Ramcat. I am particularly honored to have some of the genuinely legendary martial arts and Krav Maga instructors and others attend our Ramcat training. Many of the people who come here though have no previous training at all and none is required to take this course. Let's hear from these people about their experiences here at Ramcat. People in the course were great. I, looked, I learned from everybody here, really, and it was interesting. We had such a big cross-cultural uh, group here from different countries, different continents, and uh, different martial arts styles, or no martial arts style. So uh, I'll remember that as well. The, uh, the people in the course were the bonding of the group and how we learned from each other.
Damn. And one of the things I found out that was the same as the first time I was here is the people. I found it's a great bunch of people here, and it just gives, I don't know, a good vibe to the environment. My name is Yoav Ziv. I'm from Israel. I found it wonderful. I was in the army 20 years ago, and uh, it was wonderful. You know, they say that in real fights, what make a platoon very good is the, not the patriotic, the patriotic things, not the big stuff things, but the friendship. And we got uh, really nice people here from all over the world, and uh, this is what built the atmosphere that was very nice and very wonderful. And in the fights, when everybody like say to me, "Go on, go on, knee, palm," and it was, I, I really, I really uh, heard it, and it helped me, and it was nice. And this is the what was good in this thing, the atmosphere. Thank you. My name is uh, Yoel Benarosh. I'm. I came here from uh, Israel. Uh, <coughs> I have uh, 23 years of experience in uh, martial arts. And I came here for the search of uh, the truth and search of uh, <clears throat> uh, new ways and better ways to, to train and to experience myself the, <clears throat> the reality of fighting. And I'm glad that, that I came. I've got all, I've got all of this. And uh <clears throat> I will uh, strongly recommend to every martial art artist to pass this kind of training and I will start right away when I'll come back to Israel to train all my my students in uh, <coughs> this kind of training and uh, <coughs> I'll surely recommend them to to come here and uh, to experience uh, this uh, <coughs> this uh, this training and um, the people here were great Peyton, Bill, everybody. I felt uh, like I'm uh, a at home with uh, very, very kind and honest people. And uh, <coughs> uh, I'm feeling great here. Thank you. My name is Samuel Levine. I am from Israel too. Uh, I'm a second time here. First time it was in August. And... Um, I, I want to talk about the level of uh, professionalism the people have here, the team of people that putting you through these courses. Uh, they combine the knowledge in martial arts, in psychology, in methodology of training, and this combination actually provides a very unique method that uh, that really unique in today martial arts world. And also, of course, the people, um, seeing the people here a second time, it's some kind of special people, I mean, all of us and all of you, because uh, bad people don't come here. <laughs> so some reason I, I, I can think this way. Usually once a year, I'll try to pick some kind of a crazy adventure thing, you know, that's sort of out of my usual league, uh, uh, just to see what other people are doing. So... Uh, um, this was my this year's crazy adventure, and I go and I like to try to just do it by the rules there, you know, pick up the technique as it is, um, and uh, so I had a ball here. I have for years been a believer in this particular method, just from videos I'd seen and conversations with Peyton years ago. Peyton came out to my uh, place in Ohio, and so this has been something I'd look forward to doing for a long time. So uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. Wish I'd found this 30 years ago in the martial arts. Uh, in fact, I think this is what I sort of thought martial art training was going to be like when I started it in the 60s. You know, I thought it would be something along this line, a lot of emphasis on what happens on the inside and riding that and translating it to uh, uh, outside successes. And, uh, you know, I, I didn't run into much uh, that related to that. So, uh, yeah, appreciate going through that with everybody. Wonderful energy here. and salute all that uh, that you did as a uh, bullet man on there and I have to say too uh, um, you know in, in a case like this I really do respect the uh, and appreciate greatly the amount of of energy and force 
and reality and pressure that you put on and uh but uh, and, and and so many times uh you would have been in a position to uh I don't know, sneak a cheap shot in there or whatever, and I think that's a risky thing for anybody to do. And, uh, you know, the the pressure that was on there, uh, uh, very real, very real feeling, and yet, you know, your ability to hold back and not, uh, you know, injure somebody. Anyway, I was very impressed. And, uh, again, want to salute the staff for uh, everything they did, from great training to uh, steak dinners. Uh, what a place. I'm going to tell all my friends about Ramcat pace, but still managed to get us all to the next level as a team. I really want to think that's very impressive. I want to thank you guys. Yeah, I've met or exceeded all of my expectations. And uh, uh, one part that I wasn't expecting was the group. And I kind of felt I'd be here by myself going through a class, kind of like how you go through school. And um, the, the group energy was great. And it surprised me. It was very positive. It's a very good thing. And I want to thank you guys for teaching me and you guys for teaching me and not killing me. I really appreciate it. And that's what I got to say. Uh, along the lines of what a lot of people have said, first of all, for all of you guys, I can't give you guys enough credit. You run a first-class operation here. Uh, the hospitality to go with the program was amazing between the cooks and the lodging and everything was fantastic. One thing that really impresses me is the way you can take a course like this that's real intense and keep it lighthearted and keep it fun. It's really easy to get serious about what you're doing and get concerned about things and you just keep it fun so that when we come here to learn this important thing, we have a good time too, which I think is really important and helps for the learning experience. Um, it's been everything I expected and I look forward to coming back again when I can. So thank you to all you guys. Well, Peyton, thank you for giving me the confidence I needed to meet y'all. Uh, I got what I come here for. It was absolutely fantastic. Um, everything about it was good. Um, I got <clears throat> even more than I expected out of it. Um, the camaraderie uh, the, of the team was just fantastic. Uh, Bill and Peyton, you guys run such a fantastic school here. This is just, I, f I feel that I learned more in two and a half days uh, more valuable information for the real world than I've learned in my six years of studying Kempo. Um, I will highly, highly recommend this. I think that every member of the good tribe in the entire world needs to do this. Um, it was uh, an honor to meet Mr. Hayes, and I just can't say enough good things about you guys. The bullet man, you guys are absolutely incredible. Um, I'd say this whole experience has really been priceless. Um, you know, Phil and I would I saw it, you know, down in at the convention and stuff and you know we'd been talking about it for months and whatever saying okay we're gonna go we're gonna go and we finally you know we finally did it and it's I tell you it's been the best probably one of the best experiences of my life um, it was extremely positive and it really just opened up a lot of things for me and um, it really as far as confidence goes I mean I think it's better than any therapy <laughs> you know I mean it's just it was phenomenal so,